Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In this week's video for Elemental, I'm going to take you through one of the things that I think is a real weak spot in Elemental and Elemental Pro, and that's their gallery widget. Now I find that this doesn't really give you a huge amount of control, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a free plugin that adds or extends functionality inside Elemental and Elemental Pro. It's free and it really does give you a whole range of really cool add-ons. For this video, we're going to keep it really simple and just look at the Gallery Plus module. But in a future video, we're going to take a look at all the different modules and what they allow us to do to expand Elemental. Now, one of the things I like about the Elements Plus plugin is the fact you can just activate what you want from all the different widgets that are available. So if you only want the Gallery plugin, you only need to activate that, which obviously means that your Elemental isn't going to get bloated and ultimately your website's going to load that a little bit quicker because it's not having to load everything in just to load in that one particular widget. So let's take a look at this in action. The first thing we're going to need to do is install this, download it and install it into our WordPress copy. So what we're going to do is just to search for Elements Plus and you can see that brings up this particular download. All we need to do is click Install Now. Once that's downloaded, we can activate it and then we can go through and take a look at some of the settings before we move over and start taking a look at how this widget works. So that's downloaded, let's just click Activate. Once we've done that, then we can jump in and take a look at those settings. So there we go, that's now activated. If we come over to the left hand side and draw to Elementor, you can see we now have a new entry with the Shizit Elements Plus. So we click and open that up. You can see we can now go through and choose exactly what we want to install. So you've got labels plus, buttons plus, and so on. We just want Gallery Plus for now. We'll hit Save Changes and we're good to go. When we load this into Elementor, when we load Elementor up, we'll see we now have this new widget available. So let's go and create a new page. Let's just jump over to New Page. Add new. Once we've done that, we'll just call this gallery. We'll just make sure that everything is set up in it. Now I'm using the Ocean WP theme. You don't need to use that. This should work with pretty much any theme that Elementor will work with. So let's just hit publish to make sure that we've got that activated and ready. And let's edit with Elementor so we can open that up and start taking a look at this widget. So let's load Elementor in. And you can see now if we take a look on the left hand side with all our widgets, we've now got an Elements Plus section. At the moment, we've only got Gallery Plus because that's the only one that we actually activated. So as we would normally, we can simply drag this over, drop it onto our page, and that opens up all the options on the left hand side. Now, in much the same way as the default Elementor widget for dealing with a gallery gives you the ability to add images, we can kind of do it pretty much exactly the same here. So let's click Add Images. Let's go and find a few images that we want to use in our gallery. I'm not too bothered which ones they are, so let's just choose a nice range of images. Click Create New Gallery. You can now see we can go through and we can reorder any of these if we want to, simply by dragging and dropping them into the order that we want. We can add captions in there if we want to. We can reverse the order. We can do pretty much anything you'd expect with this. Once we're happy, we'll click on Insert Gallery, and that'll insert it into our page. As you can see, it already looks better than the default Elemental Gallery widget because everything is kind of put into a nice default kind of square. So that looks pretty cool. So let's take a look at the options now on the left-hand side. You can see we can go through and we can set the image size. So depending upon the size you want to use the preview, you may want to bump these up from being the thumbnails to any of the larger options that have been created. So I'm going to set these to 300 by 300. You can see now that shows us a bigger version of this. You can tell it then what we want to do, whether we want to link to the media file, to attachment page, or nothing. So we can choose whatever we want from there. We can also specify whether the light box is used. So you can see we've got default, which will use whatever default setting we're using inside Elementor or Elementor Pro. You can also then set it through to be yes or no, so you can kind of override that default setting, whatever works for you. Next up, we've got the row height. So at the moment, that's set to 120, which is a pixel value. So let's just say, let's set that to something like 250. Just set that 250. You can see once we do that, that automatically then increases the size of our images. We've got margins, which allow us to specify the margins around the side of our images. So let's just say five, so we get a bigger gap around there. You can see we can justify our last row if we want to. So if we scroll down, you can see that any of the images, if we had a, an odd number of images, we can specify to justify, to hide, to left or right position that last image. So if we click on there, nothing will happen because of the way that the images are laid out. But if we were working with portrait images and landscape images, then we can go through and we can fine tune this to make sure that it looks really good. 
We've also got the option at the bottom to randomize the images. So every time the page loads in, they'll have a random range of images. We can also go back easily and edit any of these. So let's just say, for example, we wanted to add a different image in there or remove something or reorder things. All we need to do is come up and click on any of the images and you can see we can now reorder things or we can delete things from there. So now we've got a random number of images. Let's say insert gallery again. Don't worry, it isn't going to insert an additional copy of the gallery. It's just going to update it. And you can see everything is nice and neatly laid out now, all nice and tidy. So next up, let's just jump over to the Style tab and see what we've got in there to style the way this gallery works. You can see it's pretty minimal. We've got the option to apply borders. You can see we can go through and set none, solid, double, dotted, and so on. All the normal things you'd expect inside Elemental. Specify the width, the color, a border radius if you want to round the corners off. So you have control over that if you want to. We also have the option for caption, so you can see by default this will show a caption which is taken from the actual information applied to the image itself. You can choose to show or hide that, you can adjust the alignment of it, the text colour and assign the typography that you want to make sure that it sits in line with the look and feel of the website you're working with. For this example I'm going to set hide on that, you can see that now takes away all the options available. Finally, we've got the Advanced tab, and as you can see, all the normal options we've got inside the Advanced tab for things like margins and padding, the Z-index, any animation effects, backgrounds, and so on, the normal things you used to see in with Elementor itself. So this doesn't give you a huge amount of additional options on top of what the widget that sort of ships with Elementor does, but what it does do is just give a better job of displaying your images. Now at the moment we've only got landscape images in this. Let's just drop a couple of portrait ones in and see what happens. So let's just jump back to the content tab, click on the images and let's upload a couple of images that are in portrait. So I'm just going to choose some images from my computer and just upload those to my server. Now I'm working on a local server so this is pretty quick so we don't have to wait, wait too long. As you can see now everything is added all those options are in there, insert the gallery, and now you can see this gives us a better indication of what's happening. So you can see it dynamically adjusts the size and the position of the images to make sure that everything looks good. So now if we go to the row height and start adjusting that, you'll see how the images will adjust to make sure that everything looks good. So let's just start increasing those. You can see it'll adjust the position and the size and so on. We can keep on going, adjusting everything in there until we get a kind of nice mix as you can see, it's balancing everything out. If we don't want to have this sort of weird random image at the end of things, you can see we've got the option for our last row. So you can see we can do no justify, which will kind of just align everything on there. We can come back in and choose justify. You can see it adjusts everything. Hide, so if there's a random image that drops over the end, instead of having one random image at the end, you can see it'll hide the last row. We can set it to left if we want to, or right. So you can see each time we make adjustments on there, it adjusts the position, the size, scales the images to make sure that everything looks good. So you can choose whatever option kind of works the best for you, but this just gives us so much more control over how our galleries look compared to what the Elementor widget does. And that pretty much sums up and finishes off what I want to show you in this video. Like I say, this is completely free, gives you a whole range of additional widgets you can add in there, but I just think this Gallery Plus widget is worth installing to give you just so much more control over how your images are displayed and your galleries inside your website using Elementor or Elementor Pro. Well, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add every single week. Hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos are uploaded. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to help support the channel, please consider using the affiliate links in the description below. It costs you no more money to purchase any of the plugins, themes, or add-ons in there, but it does give a small percentage back to the channel and help support what we do. Well, until next time, take care.